hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I will be showing you guys how I upcycled a um, kids rocking chair I am making this for a friend of mine she just had a baby um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I um, turned this trash into treasure I bought this um, chair from a yard sale a while ago okay so here are the supplies you're gonna need you're gonna need some rust-oleum paint and this is what I'm showing you guys right now um, I got this from Home Depot. It was about $3.47, I believe. Um, love this stuff. Um, also, I'm showing you guys the sprayer that I use that makes um, spray painting so much easier. Um, I also got that from Home Depot a while ago. I have my sander here, um, which I'm showing you guys. Sorry, it's kind of out of focus, but the sander I'm using. Um, we have napkins to wipe off the, all the sand dust and then also tape to tape off um, the part of the chair that I don't want to mess up. So let's go ahead and get started on this chair, taping it off. sanding um, I'm just doing like a light sand this chair was in pretty good shape as far as the textures and everything of it so I just wanted to just kind of give it a light sand so that everything will look really even um, and you'll see me kind of going through all of the grooves of the chair to get that done okay so this part of the chair was pretty beat up this was the worst part about the chair um, so what I'm going to do, and I'll show this toward the end, is I'm actually going to saw it off. I tried to sand it down um, just because I didn't want to mess up the functionality of the chair and how it rocks. Um, but it ended up being fine. I had to cut it off because after I spray painted it, it didn't really look um, really nice. So I ended up um, cutting off um, the parts that were really damaged. Okay, so here I am just wiping off all of the sawdust that's everywhere. Um, trust me, you definitely don't want to miss this step because when you start spray painting, it will look a hot mess if you do not um, get all the sawdust off. So here I am just spray painting the chair. I'm doing a light coat and then I'll come back an hour later and then do another light coat and then again, I'll do the final coat a couple hours later just because you want to make sure that you allow it time to dry. Plus it was 80 degrees outside so um, the sun was really on my side when I was um, spraying this chair. Okay, so I decided to um, personalize the chair and um, put the baby's um, initials on the chair. So right now I'm putting E6000 on some letters that I bought from Michaels. Um, I used a Q-tip. I could have used a paintbrush, but I was being lazy and didn't want to clean the paintbrush. So the Q-tip was okay. Um, I, you are going to get some of the glue kind of on the chair, so just make sure you have a damp cloth to just wipe it off in the end. Um, overall and I just kind of held it on for a few minutes so that I know it's gonna stick trust me e6000 this thing is not going anywhere um, so I'm just kind of showing you guys a close-up and then here I am wiping off the um, residue from the glue um, <clears throat> which kind of wiped off really really easily so I am um, just kind of wiping that off right now Okay, so here um, is some lost footage. I actually did not get footage of when my husband cut off the um, 
access wood right here the damaged parts um, but it did turn out really really nicely um, so here is the chair um, thank you guys again for stopping by please comment um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel a new video will be up next Wednesday and also let me know what you guys would like to see on this channel what type of videos would you like to see all right I'll see you guys next Wednesday peace out